subscribe and stay tuned. Hi, long time no see guys. DMX lecture here. Haven't seen you guys for quite a while. Having been quite busy for the last couple of months, and right now it's the holiday season. Finally, I got some time to update some of my video. The bubble tea is getting more and more popular in Edmonton. And this year alone, we helped this customer build three bubble tea shops already. The first two are the remodeling, and the last one, this one, we built the bubble tea shop from scratch. As you can see, this is a typical small size commercial new construction. Uh, we used a metal stud for the partition wall. We run BX wire all the way. And the shop is supplied by the three phase 100 amps power supply. As you can see, this is a three phase 100 amps electrical panel. And for us, electrical contractors, we do our job from this electrical panel pulling BX wire or the EMT conduit to the devices, receptacles, appliances, plugs, sorry, lights and switches. And that is our job. And upstream from this electrical panel is to the building mechanical room. So normally, the building mechanical room will have the 347 600 amps power supply. And they step down the power from uh, 347 600 to 120 208. And in that electrical room, we'll have a disconnect. And after that, the power supply through the disconnect run all the way to this electrical panel. For commercial setup, normally you cannot use the Lumax cable anymore. So you either use the armor cable, which is also called the BX wire, or run the EMT conduit. That for this smaller commercial setup, it makes sense to run the BX wire because like the uh, receptacles, appliances, lights and switches almost everywhere. So you just pull the BX wire wherever you need to go. But for a bigger setup, it may make sense to build the EMT conduit because you may be able to, to divide the whole area into different sections. So you just pull a couple of uh, uh, EMT conduit and make it more cost effective and actually save money and time. You can use the approved junction boxes for the metal stud. It will make your job faster and easier. But sometimes they are not as strong as the traditional wooden structures. You can also cut several pieces of uh, 2x4s to reinforce the junction boxes. You always need another piece of uh, 2x4 or any other kind of uh, support to secure the 3 gun junction boxes. And also, you need uh, the anti red anti shock when you need uh, the BX wire. Also, you need to select proper size of marets when you do the wire splicing. The BX wire need to be properly secured. So you can either use the tie wrap to secure the BX wire to the structure or use the metal straps. As you can see, we used up 37 space out of the 42 total space out of the three-phase electrical panel because we have to make sure the customer have enough circuits for not only the existing appliances and equipment but also for the foreseeable future expansion. That's why only for a small bubble tea shop under 1,000 square feet, we use so many breakers here. So this is one of the many successful residential and commercial projects we have been doing in Edmonton and surrounding area. So if you have any question, give us a call. Thank you and have a nice day.